Talk. Hello, hello. Today I want to look at the kingdom of old Ghana. The kingdom of old Ghana. First one, you know the old Ghana was the earliest of all kingdom of the West Africa. And then the place where it is being stated, it is being stated at the savannah grassland of the Western Sahara. Uh, Western Sudan, sorry, Western Sudan, and then new called West Africa. Uh, you must know located between the upper section of the river Niger and river Senegal. Uh, you know the kingdom was founded by Soninge people uh, and in the, in the century known as 4th century. Uh, another one you must know, uh, note, the founder was uh, Di Diabe, son of Dinga. That was the, the, the founder of the kingdom, that is Diabe, son of Dinga. You know, uh, the Babas from the north were the one who conquered uh, and ruled old Ghana for many years, that is 4th century. And then the end of 8th century, we had the, uh, the, the, the powerful uh, ruler known as, uh, known as Kaya Magan, defeated the Babas and established the Soninge uh, rule with their capital at Kumbisale. So the capital of Soninge, it was at Kumbisale. And then Kaya means king. You must know Kaya means king. Another one you must know later, the, ru the, the, the rulers of old Ghana, such as Tungamenin, expanded the kingdom. They expanded the kingdom. So Tungamenin was the powerful leader and then expanded the kingdom when he had a lot of military conquest. And then by the 10th and 11th century, by the 10th, by the 10th and 11th century, old Ghana was large, powerful and prosperous kingdom. Prosperous kingdom. Another one you must know uh, factors that uh, led to a uh, contribution of the rise of old Ghana. First factor, strong and respected rulers. They had strong and respected rulers too. They had strong and well-equipped army. Another one, they, they, they had the trans-Saharan trade, uh, i.e. example, the, the, the traders from the North Africa brought salt, sword, horses, and glassware in exchange for gold, ivory, and cola nuts from West Africa. And then you must know, uh, the location, the location in the fertile area, presidency, weak neighbors, state, even uh, the location in the fertile area made them to grow, and then down the presidency of weak neighbors, they conquered those weak neighbors. And then you want, you want to look at now the causes of the decline of the old Ghana, how now the old Ghana was declined. First one, old Ghana declined because of the breaking away of Con Congara state by the vas vassal kings, uh, the kingdom became too big to, uh, to be administered effectively, even the kingdom was too big, and then the decline of all the trans-Saharan uh, trade, and then converting people of old Ghana to Islam, now made now people uh, to the decline of old Ghana, and then even the attack of the Babas, the attack of the Babas, and then we had the, the rise of the kingdom of Mali, okay, under Sudiata Keita now made, uh, made uh, all the Ghana to decline. I wish you all the best, guys.